teeter Episode two, we're back. <laughs> Bitch. Your survival depends on the choices you make. Yes. They will be as a compass, guiding you through the unknown. Yes. Will you find the path to salvation? Or be lost in the darkness forever? Forever. Do look at those graphics. Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. No, we know, we know, we've been here. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold Any stories, Lord Hope, stories Madame about Madame. friends and enemies, the moon. loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules from time to okay. time. Okay. <gasps> There's someone in the mirror. Mirror. Window. <gasps> to descend into the unknown alone is Alco extremely Koi. brave. Or extremely foolish. I think it's foolish. Definitely. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible the outcomes. The premonitions. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. They could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Let's go. Oh, we're, we're in the military? Mm. Oh, fuck. Iraq. Iraq. Say that's something. Jason. First Lieutenant, U.S. for confident. Colonel, good trip. Eric King, Lieutenant, rational, insecure. Not particularly. That's Welcome not a good Slayer. trait for a early. impatient I'm in a meeting. Apologetic, apologies for uh... Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Eric introduced himself to Jason. Okay. See, this is what I was looking at on uh, Little Hope and uh, Man of Medan. Rational, hopeful, insecure, loyal, considerate. Okay. Working fast. I hear. Trades updated. Same person. Glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, good to go. Good to go. You should read this. That's the. Then you hear? There's a new king in the castle. The this sister. The and little hope. Careful with that case, for sure. This is my assistant. This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Doctor Clarice Stokes. Consider it. Okay. Cold check. First lieutenant. Cold check. Cold check. Wow. The briefing room. Okay, so we have one person that's uh, from the other series. Yeah! What's up, Maureen? Can't you keep up? Rachel King, CIA field officer, commanding abrasive. Okay. 
Nick K, Lieutenant Defensive Romantic, Sergeant Force. This could be our last time together, Rachel. Is that... After what happened at the checkpoint. The brothers for Men... Uh, I thought I was done. Men of Medan? These last few weeks, you've you've lifted me up. Kind of does... It doesn't look like it. I don't like know it. where I'd be without you. It's a little similar. Oh, and that's the... The, the girlfriend. Damn. But they look a little different. Rachel King. He looks more similar. But she looks completely different. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Fucking you slut! The time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Man, call him a you down. You're a field officer. What? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Come on. Reluctant. We should put this on ice for your sure. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. Rachel assured Nick that she would tell Eric about their affair when the time is right. <sighs> this book trades up there. It's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Oh, brother. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Big SL. Shit. Shit. Okay. What is that? A lock? to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> We got the CIA, we got the okay, Army, I'm this guy. DIA, the Air Force, oh, I'm the husband. The Everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. America. Oh, fuck yeah. What do you guys think? Should I clap him? I him and her? Man <gasps> out those reps. The, the captor. Teacher there too. Okay, so they have a lot of characters from Madame Madame. Yeah. This here would like to watch me get my sweat on. You gonna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. <laughs> Sergeant K. Sergeant. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prep. I'll see you in there, Marine. Dad, and I'm so friendly too. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Doom, boom, 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 boom. I'm finna kill all of them. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People will sit behind Who's desks that? Don't to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. And did you I'm your commander? What did he say? Nah, man. No. Nah. Lieutenant Colonel Eric Kent. Move to the briefing. And if I'm not mistaken... Eric Dignity pointed out that he was Joe's commanding officer. Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. <laughs> Shit me, right? What Perhaps the fuck? Fall in line! Have some respect. Full side access. Sir. 
I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. We know each other, we're sure. We're sure, we know each other. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. His <laughs> <laughs> work got shot. Damn. Wait, but she's a field officer. It's interesting. Sure. I'm so sorry. Rachel never said uh, she was married. At least he's apologetic. Apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Yeah. Uh. What do we got? Right. Wait for team inspector briefing. The bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. What is this place anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Well, that's exactly what it is. I guess you damn like to get down on the Okay. I think if Stan's partner stepped on his foot, it would be an instant so off with her head. <sighs> well, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. Come on. Oh, here comes the queen bitch. Colonel King. Look at this fucking Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. Apology, I should have called her guys is my team now. <gasps> I should have warned you, I was Eric Apology revealed to Rachel that he was in charge of her team now. Move forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? Follow orders! I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rachel. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sox Central. Yeah, it confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. Oh, choker. I'll catch you through. Name? On the Marines. You can call me Clarice. Yeah. All right. Doctor Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something. Fifteen hundred. Fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. What Please the fuck? Pioneer way. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. 
On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as she ever. She looks like an actor. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all I'm to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, <laughs> Merwin. <laughs> Sir? Papi Chulo. Comply all requests up. We keep this small. We keep this thing small. Eric disagree with Jason and Nick when they argue with the raider when you air support. Oh, man, I don't Go give south, a fuck. Pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. <gasps> oh, fuck. This feel right to you? What the fuck happened? Eric refused to bring close to air support. Uh oh. Merwin has a point. Damn, I fucked up already. We spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Yeah, it is Any true. concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. <laughs> this is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Uh. Dismissed. He didn't seem convinced at all. Luis, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie, look. Good rug down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. What the fuck? That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? That is the actor. I don't know her name, but... I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. It looks like her. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric. We need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. This is our big break. I've missed it. Nah. Consider overbearing secure. This is it. Everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. What? How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. Come on, brother. Rachel told Eric that their marriage was over. You're not wearing your wedding ring. Hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. She got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that what? download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Huh. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Damn. 
Nah, fuck all that. What's that? Grenade? Or smoke grenades? Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. Okay, just for cover. These are unauthorized. Yeah, fuck that. These are only to be used. Wait for the download speak. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. Okay. I mean, we're gonna need all the equipment. I feel like if I said something about the... Uh... We would have left it behind. Then I wouldn't have been able to take it. Who's that? A president? Yeah. Bill. Mission accomplished. President. Mission accomplished. President Bush declares an end of hostilities in Iraq. Many sh Manny Sherman executed killer uncooperative during final hours. Okay. What else do we have? What the fuck? Why is it okay? Hmm. Okay. Acting CEO Richard, confidential with the survey group, becoming operational today. It is imperative to stress the need for mission success. Our military operation the need to clear and comp compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged to end the threat to the inter international community from Iraq. Until we prove that the, the that's threat, we cannot rightly justify the invasion. Okay. I think I got everything right. Oh. Who's that? Oh, it's the dude with the glasses. No. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. Hey, you want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. What the fuck? So you're my technician, provocator here for the fights. Oh fuck. So you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. You need any oh, he's a corporal. I'm here to help. That's gonna Show that's gonna help us. Gonna... That's gonna help. Yeah. I feel like some of these climbing gear, fucking pencil pusher. I feel like that. Can you talk to her? No. I feel like if I went the other way uh, while talking to the corporal. He would have not uh, agreed with us, but <laughs> at the same time, that could lead to his death. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Who's that? Oh, it's the guy with the glasses. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know... I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the boy. Oh, great. <sighs> you sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need him. We have the element of surprise on our side. Rational. Rachel's. Okay. Allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? 
I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. <laughs> Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're going to clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. So, I got to keep an eye on this guy. Okay. And let's complete. Let's get to the helos. Let's go. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? A skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? <sighs> yeah. I'm finna clap every single one of them. On God. Seventeen fifty three. Salam Othman. I read ground forces stubborn. A Christmas present. Pumpkins, okay. That AK. Zayn! And a gate! Zayn! Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he the enemy? Did we clap him? Did we clap his family? <laughs> oh, or did she leave me? Hug your university shield. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for a uh, mission to Highgate University to read mythology in the academic year 2003, which this offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements. Failing which the university deregister you from the course, complete. We need to understand it. Okay, for over 200. Okay. Oh my god. Want more followers? Visit this website. Only three ninety nine. Happy birthday, Zay, my boy. It's becoming boy, my perfect, just perfect. <gasps> What's that? What's that? Oh, someone got clapped. Off. Shit. Look at his face. The left one. What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. Where's my fucking wife? Hello? Okay, I don't see anything around here. In here. Zane? Zane. From Zane and Heath, or Heath and Zane. Okay. Oh, so the kid got accepted. Okay, and she. Okay. Oh, big yikes. What is Sonic version of Horror Fab B? Yeah, I ain't reading that. Pause it, read it. House of Ashes. Uh, this book describes the Sumerian underworld, which is referred to as the House of Ashes. <sighs> oh my god, I feel like I should read it. Chapter 6. This ancient Mesopian underworld and ancient belief the world was made of or the house of ashes was where people went when they died no. oh my god oh my god 
dude. Let me fucking read her. Uh, stars. The number of domes were between three and seven. The number seven itself has magical properties. Recurs frequently throughout seven demons, seven thrones, seven spirits, and the seven gates of the underworld. The to the Sumerians, the stars. Okay, Jupiter. Okay, this is their pillows given to humans. So, so could travel upwards. There's no wonder. Uh, I believe that the discoveries of Mesopian astronomy were passed on to the Western world and form. Okay, so seven. Seven is, might be useful. Okay. Uh, close, known as curved, and has a voice for. So it's related to the government deep in the ground. Uh, here, the only, here the only drink was dust and the only food was clay. There was no money and no punish, there were no rewards or punishment for deeds done in life. And as they were often buried under or near the home, did they sacrifices of food? The dead could return to earth as ghosts to punish those descendants who did not leave offerings of food and drink to them. Vengeful ghosts can inflict misfortune and sickness on the living, such as headaches, stomach pains, fever, and mental disorders, could be attributed to ghosts. Healers ascribe many illnesses to the action of Okay. So I need to make sure to offer him something. Is it just two pages? I think it's just two pages. Yeah, it's just two pages. Seven offering. Seven demons. Okay. I got what I needed. Where's my wife? <gasps> oh, that's progress. Okay. What's this? Okay, just a map. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, there's nothing else. <coughs> oh, Rupi is in Tanny. Not again. What happened? What is that? <laughs> Was that Cologne? Uh, hello, Anna Salim. Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. I forgot. Who was Zain? Ma. Ma. Who was him? Abnik. Tarek. Iwa Tarek. Tarek. I found some stolen goods. I have a gift for him. Yeah, no one needs to know our business. The fuck? No, no, no. I saw Ken Aid Milad who wanted to go to the Hadiya. Oh, fuck. I don't know when they'll be, you know, boys or what. She's in the home, please. Oh, fuck. Am I finna clap the neighbor's cheeks? We need to move out now. <gasps> the Avengers are flying in. We're coming to the Avengers flying in. The Avengers got there. There has been no surrender in the name of God. This is our land now. This is where we fight back. Do you have eyes on them? Requesting confirmation. They're coming to Lim. We need every available man in position in case they land nearby. Got it. Define. I must find. What? I'm in the military. Come on, dude. Yeah, he's the the professor. Her gun, Victoria. 
He's a professor in Manamadan. No more dollar. After this, I'm done. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, it's just... 